Hello and welcome back to Nicolo Gas. This is your ultimate guide to reading your electricity meter. We'll round up all the different types of meters and how to read each one. Most UK homes have a standard electricity meter. These show your energy usage in kilowatt hours using a simple mechanical display. With this sort of meter, you'll most likely be billed monthly or quarterly and may need to provide regular meter readings to make sure you're not being under or overcharged. Some advantages of this sort of meter include that energy is charged at the same rate, whether in the day or at night, so you'll always know where you stand and how much you're paying. To take a reading from a standard meter, just make a note of the black numbers reading from left to right. There might also be red numbers, but ignore these. They represent figures after the decimal point, and your supplier doesn't need to know about them. Dial meters. A dial meter works similarly to a standard meter but these meters look like little clocks. An electricity dial meter has five or more dials which turn to point to a number between zero and nine. With these, ignore any numbers from red dials, dials with no pointer, dials with no numbers, or dials marked one out of 10. To read a dial meter, read the dials from left to right. Ignore the dial marked one out of 10. If the pointer on a dial is between two numbers, write down the lower number, but if the pointer is between 0 and 9, it will always be 9. This is the case for the first and fourth dial on the diagram shown. If the pointer is exactly on a number, but the reading on the dial after it is 9, take one away from that number. On the diagram shown, the pointer on the third dial is exactly on the 7, but the reading on the fourth dial is a 9, so the reading on the third dial becomes 6. On screen now, you'll see an example of this with the reading on this example being 94694. Digital meters. These electronic meters display their readings on LCD screens. To read a single rate digital meter, read your meter display from left to right and ignore any numbers in red and anything that appears after a decimal point or space. Write down the numbers shown on the display and if there's a decimal point, ignore anything after it. For example, this meter reading is 75085. The number in red should be ignored. Now on to economy 7. Some suppliers provide tariffs designed for people who use most of their energy at off-peak times, usually at night. These are known as economy 7 and economy 10 tariffs and are sometimes referred to as variable rate meters. If you're on economy 7, your electricity meter will display two meter readings, one for on-peak hours and one for off-peak hours. On digital displays and prepayment meters, you might have to toggle between the two screens, marked rate one and rate two. To read these types of meters, read the numbers from left to right, including any zeros and ignoring the last digit of each rate. Your low rate is often referred to as your night reading, while the normal rate is also known as a day reading. The two readings allow us to distinguish how much electricity you're using in the day versus the night and bill you accurately. If you look at the example on screen, you'll see the low rate reading on the right would be 03781 and the normal rate reading on the right would be 54814. Prepayment meters. With these sorts of electricity meters used for pay-as-you-go tariffs, you pay for your energy in advance. You'd usually use a card or key to add money to your meter and sometimes you can top up with an app. Most prepayment meters are digital. They display remaining credit so you know when to top up and you may need to go through multiple screens on your meter and each screen has a letter at the left of your display. To read these sorts of meters, press the blue button on your meter to get the screen information up. Then press the blue button again to go from screen to screen. If you have a single rate meter for electricity, your reading is on screen H. Whereas if you pay different rates for your electricity depending on the time of day, your readings are on screens H and J. Now onto smart meters. When you get a smart meter installed, you'll also normally get a small portable device with a screen on it. This is called an in-home display. You might be able to take a reading from the in-home display, select the meter reading option from the menu on the screen. If you can't take a reading from your in-home display, take it from the smart meter. Now, the way you take a reading from a smart electricity meter depends on the type of meter you have. Here are all the different types and how to use them. If your meter has a keypad, start by checking if you pay a single rate at all times or two rates. Most people pay a single rate at all times, but if you have an economy seven meter, you pay two rates. If you're not sure, check your bill to see if you pay two rates. If you pay a single rate, to read the meter, press nine. Wait until you see the letters IMP KWH. 
You'll then see numbers followed by KWH. This is your reading. Write down these numbers from left to right and ignore any zeros at the beginning and any numbers after the decimal point. If you pay two rates, to read the meter, press six. Wait until you see IMP R01 followed by numbers. This is usually your night or off peak reading. Press six again until you see IMP R02. This is usually your day or peak reading. Write down the numbers from left to right and ignore any zeros at the beginning and any numbers after the decimal point. If your meter has A and B buttons under the screen, press the A button, press the A button again until you see total act import and numbers followed by KWH. Write down the number from left to right and ignore any zeros at the beginning and any numbers after the decimal point. If your meter has a green A button to the right of the screen and a white B button below it, Press the white B button until the screen lights up. Wait until the screen says meter boost, then press A to select no, and you should see numbers followed by KWH. Write down the numbers from left to right and ignore any zeros at the beginning and any numbers after the decimal point. If you pay two rates, to read the meter, press the green A button, press the green A button again until you see rate 01 act imp. This is usually your night or off peak reading. Press the green button again until you see rate 02 act imp. This is usually your day or peak reading. Write down the numbers from left to right and ignore any zeros at the beginning and any numbers after the decimal point. If you have a meter with two white buttons to the right of the screen, to read the meter, wait for the screen that shows numbers followed by KWH. Write down the numbers from left to right and ignore any zeros at the beginning and any numbers after the decimal point if there is one. If your meter has two buttons to the right of the screen and one says reconnect, press the display or display select button, then press the display or display select button again until you see numbers followed by KWH. Write down the number from left to right and ignore any zeros at the beginning and any numbers after a decimal point if you have one. Finally, if your meter has a green A button and a grey B button to the right of the screen, write down the number next to KWH from left to right and ignore any zeros at the beginning and any numbers after the decimal point if there is one.